I'm going ahead with next question. CK exam question 28. We have deployed a port called web port where port 80 was exposed using service web port. So the port name and service name for which the port was exposed is same. Incoming connections from a port called API check to web port service are not working. Identify and make certain changes on port API check. Redeploy it if needed so that it can access web port. Note the network policy named API allow was also created as part of the deployment. So in this question, we we know that everything uh, related to communication is impacted just because of network policy. And it is possible that uh, it is, we might get a question, may or may not get a question with certain changes to be done inside the policy itself. But uh, it, it would be a new policy in that case, most probably, and it is less likely to see these kind of questions, but still it is important to understand network policy because it's part of the curriculum. So if we go here and check for network policy, G net, net port, this is short form for network policy. You can see network policy name is API yellow and there is a selection based on port. So there are various selectors if we, we describe this policy, for example, say describe that whole API help and hello. You can see name in the namespace as it is, it is clear that every time when we create a network policy, it is defined in one of the namespace. So it is a must to define a namespace, otherwise it goes to default namespace. So as holistically we can say, network policy is applied at namespace level first. Then we can see that port selector is selected and there are labels that we can see here. And it is specific to ingress traffic. So it is expecting that whoever is coming to me should have app is equal to bookstore. So let's just see the network policy types in the, in the documentation. This is just for the information I'm discussing here. Otherwise, we are clear that there is something to do with name, name or labels that we need to put inside the API check port. But here what we see is network policy definition. Quickly, let's just go through it. So type is network policy and then name and namespace is to be defined. And then there can be various selections. There can be port selector where you will see match labels as labels that can be defined on any of the object. And policy types are only of two types, ingress and egress. Ingress for incoming traffic, egress for outgoing traffic. Only two types of rules are applied. So when it comes to any of the policy, there would be similar kind of selections. But in case of ingress, you, you would see that in case you have defined, defined an ingress policy, it says, I am accepting from whoever is talk, trying to talk to me, it should have specific information with respect to selectors. So there are four selectors that, that you, you will see in each network policy. Either of them will be there. Any of the selectors will be there. One of them is IP block. There would be a CIDR range, and then you can see the subnet within which it would be acceptable. This is in case where codes and certain namespaces may have 
ports specifically, containers, they will have ephemeral IP. So this kind of uh, definition can also be there. And then namespace selectors. In namespace selectors, there will be uh, variables or labels that you would see like port selectors. In our case, we are seeing port selector. Uh, here also you can see label has been defined after namespace was created after that there is a label defined on top of it and that has to be there has to be a match if it is coming to me as a, at the namespace label level at a namespace level then comes port selector port selector also has labels like namespace and port selector both are totally looking at the labels that you will see match labels for them so you know ports are we definitely would like to apply labels on top of them it it makes them uh, identifiable easier easily and that can be further used for various uh, other things like performance data collection or to identify it differently than you know all the ports should have labels on them then comes port port is also a selector like ip block and port both will have numbers but as you can see ports are expecting pro protocol and port protocol is tcp udp or port that specific port from where I'm expecting my communication to happen. So this is how ingress works. In case of egress, everything stays kind of similar. I'll accept here we are saying to wherever I'm talking to or the communication, wherever I'm communicating to, it should have this. So this is, this is a way of defining policies. I hope you got an idea about it. Let's just go ahead and see our question now as you can see it is it is expecting app is equal to bookstore and let's just see our ports we get ports hyphen o sorry let's just say show like this so you can see my api check doesn't have uh, app is equal to bookstore so i'm going to edit this first of all let me see show you our service where we are we would be talking to we get svc this is the service we would be talking to web port it has a, a cluster ip assigned to it and now we are going to see an our api check how it is going to communicate and what is the response right now so g exec with the policy applied g exec hyphen it and then my code name is api check and then i'm saying w get http column one four i'm talking to my service here so it is able to resolve the ip uh, so dns is working fine but it is not able to talk to the service on port 80 so this is a problem that we need to fix and we know that the policy says you sh your port whichever is trying to talk to another port should have this matching policy so let's just define that policy so no matter where the communication is happening from whichever namespace it is coming from it should have that app is equal to bookstore so we get ports as we know let's just edit this we add it and port my port is api check and i'm going to edit it because i'm running everything inside powershell so it is opening it inside uh, in a notepad when i'm editing any of the configuration so role is there as a label now i'm going to say app colon book store I guess I am okay. It is bookstore, but I have defined app colon bookstore, and let's see if 
show this. So this is the information that should have been there. Now we are assuming that we are compliant with the network policy. Whatever API check code is expected to have to have the communication with the web code service, it has it. And let's just try the same G exec IT. So normally what happens here is it, it takes a little bit of time for policy to apply throughout the cluster. So there would be a cycle. We have to wait within for that particular cycle. So let's just go ahead and check the details of the codes. G get codes. Now if you see they are running on different uh, nodes and we are going to check again after applying the uh, labels and hoping that the apply in this shape whatever we have applied it is update, updated throughout the oh, throughout the nodes and it has a, it has updated the network policy also so let's just try and access it at the moment we are not able to access it is still taking time again let's just try it okay we are running the same query g exec hyphen it api check hyphen hyphen w get and then http colon web port this is my service where i'm trying to connect okay so this time you can see it has connected it it made a connection with the web port and then it has downloaded the html and communication worked so this is this is all i hope you liked it it was a little bit lengthy but i hope you find it informative thank you